Origin Chess Home Switch Reacts, and this is The Battle That Is Destroying the Universe by Channel Kaskazar Nutshell. Did they change the title? I'm pretty sure it was like how the universe is gonna die or something. I'm like, didn't they make multiple videos about this already? Yeah, there's many theories about obviously universe dying. Uh, obviously like big rip and things like that, heat, death, uh, big collapse or something. Right, many theories. Uh, big rip feels like a, a more of like a, I don't know, like that's where it's pointing, I guess, because of the dark energy is not slowing really. So, right, so everything will just basically expand, expand, right? It might rip that way, maybe, or even the heat death because of that uh, makes sense. All of this relies on dark energy, right? Uh, heat death, uh, big rip, uh, even the collapse, like, you know, matter winning over dark energy. So yeah, if we don't know what dark energy is, we don't know what dark matter is. We just give, we just say dark because we don't see it. It's like very hum human way of giving it a title, but we don't know anything. We just observe the effect of it. So we can't rely on this theories that much if the cause of that is something we have no idea what it is. We just measure the effect. Now, if we don't know what that is, the effect can't be reliable because it can change and we can be like dumbfounded, why did it change? So we need to understand it, what it is first. But yes, yeah, so based on what we have right now, any of these theories could work. There are many, many theories. Uh, one th scary theory is like, uh, what is it called, like state? Uh, so, now, uh, vacuum decay, right? It's called vacuum decay, not state. Um, I just remember it as that. Like, uh, vacuum not being in a truest state, right? Uh, the best way, I don't know who, Mike O'Dowd, Mike O'Dowd, Mike O'Dowd, I don't know, I'm, I'm not good with, with name. He probably described it best, right? It's like, imagine if like a st uh, the st uh, st state energy is like not the lowest it can be, which is like, it always wants to be lower, but it's not the lowest. So we are at a, like a false vacuum or something. Uh, ima what are the fjords? What are they called, right? There's like ocean, but there's also like a, a small, uh, like a bucket of water on top, which is like leaking into the ocean, but it's like higher uh, elevation. There's like a fjord or something. I don't know what it's called, right? But imagine like if there's like ocean of water. Now, above a bit of elevation, there's also a pocket of water, but there is no idea there's also no water below it, and it's like uh, covered with boundaries that is keeping it there. What if it like breaks and leaks into the ocean, right? So basically, we, we might not be at the truest uh, state of matter that way, and energy wants to be in the truest state of matter, so we might be in false vacuum or something. So this, this uh, you know, change of state could happen anytime, and that, was, that would be so catastrophic, it could like, change everything basically a lot of laws of physics to everything basically fucking shit up basically we could die in an instant like this and we don't even know about it right which is like very very fucked up thing right then this is like uh, much complex than this doesn't rely on dark energy that much pretty sure it doesn't rely on dark energy at all it's just like about state so that's why i think like this is really frightening every other thing like relies on dark energy and i'm like yeah let's learn dark energy first before like we think about it but yeah let's see what Kuzza talks about it Remember, if you like my next don't like subscribe. Uh, that way, I know which type of videos to react to more. Check out the next one. There's a link in the season. And yeah, this was it. Was made possible by you. Every sale of our limited edition calendar supports what we do here at Quatskazant. And our brand new 2024 calendar is our most spectacular yet. Don't miss out on your chance to own a special piece of Quatskazant history. The universe is going to die one day. But how? Well, it turns out our cosmic fate will be decided by a fight between two titans. The two warriors deciding the fate of the universe. Our universe was born 14 billion years ago in the Big Bang and has been expanding ever since. For some reason, new empty space is being created out of nothing between galaxies. Space itself is becoming bigger. Will it go on forever or will it stop one day? Today, we think the universe is at the mercy of two cosmic demigods fighting for dominance. The first one is all the stuff in the universe. Galaxies, Titans. gas, dark matter. While uh. they're very different, they just want to do one thing, get together. Matter is attracted by matter, pulled together by gravity. And gravity also pulls on the universe as a whole, slowing the expansion that started at the Big Bang. Our second warrior is empty space. While it seems, well, empty and powerless, empty space has an intrinsic energy. 
We don't really have an idea what this energy is or why it's there. It's really a placeholder that fills a blank in our understanding of reality. But it's got a cool name, dark energy. Mm. Dark energy pushes things apart, a sort of anti-gravity that accelerates the cosmic expansion. So, we have all the matter in the universe. Yeah, see, uh, string theorists basically, you know, you know, theoretical physicists, let's just call it. Also, you know, basically theory is based on, you know, Einstein's findings that, well, gravity at a larger scale might even have a repelling force, not just pulling force, right? Gravity might even repel at these larger scales. So dark energy might as well be just gravity's property at this larger scale. So dark energy might not even be a thing. But even then, like, you know, uh, there's still like some asterisks to it. Like it doesn't account for the level of, you know, pushing energy it produces. It needs more mass than there is. So it's like there has to be something there. It can't just be gravity, but who knows? Just pulling in and empty space infused with dark energy pushing out. Whoever wins will kill the universe in fun ways. But who will win? Yay. It all depends on the mysterious dark energy. Will its strength no, stay I mean, the just same? To say what's... A common assumption just because it keeps our models simple? Or will it get weaker? Or will it get more powerful over time? 1. Constant dark energy. Mm. Heat death. If the strength of dark energy stays constant, it will win the war. Since space this is growing, kind of matter right. is getting more and more right diluted, now. like sugar in a cup being filled with more and more tea. But as the universe expands, new empty space is created, which brings more dark energy, which pushes everything apart even more, which creates more empty space, which makes the universe grow even faster. A feedback loop that will make the universe expand as an ex- This is not just something, I feel like this is happening, right? It's like the physics is basically telling that this is happening. There will be, uh, there's already like certain galaxies light that will never reach us right now because of this. And soon skies will be empty with just like our neighboring galaxy and that's it. Distance things will be forever gone, right? This is happening right now. So the effect of this has already been observed. So this is like high possibility. Exponential rate. Every 12 billion years or so, it will double in diameter forever. But while dark energy is winning the war, matter is winning at least one battle. At short distances, it can keep things together. Groups. Local galaxy bubbles can overcome the push of dark energy. In a few billion years, our local group of galaxies will merge into a gigantic ball with trillions of stars. It will soon become our last view of the cosmos. All other galaxies will be pushed away by the expansion. For us, it will look like the rest of the universe is rushing away mm. until in a few hundred billion years, we won't see other galaxies at all. We'll be alone, surrounded by a seemingly infinite dark void. In about 100 trillion years, all the stars of our supergalaxy will have died out. All gas that could create new stars has been consumed and no new gas can come in. The galaxy will be dark and filled with stellar corpses. Over quadrillions of years, White dwarfs and neutron stars will slowly cool until becoming truly dark, turning off the last lights of the universe. All structures, big and small, will slowly dissolve. Mm. One by one, all dead stars and planets will leave the supergalaxy, which slowly dissolves over sextillions of years. Every object will end up on its own, which means that dark energy takes over again, creating more and more empty space between everything. Objects will be so far apart that it will be as if each had a universe for itself. Not much happens anymore until in a Google years, all black holes will have evaporated. In the end, entropy and dark energy won't stop until their job is finished. Over time spans you might as well call forever, all remaining structures might even dissolve into single particles that will be pushed away from each other by an ever-growing empty space. Imagine a whole universe with just a single lonely particle traveling through nothingness. Hmm. This is the final state, the true end, the big freeze or heat death. Yeah. A completely no energy left. cold and eternally expanding. Heat and cold is just basically energy, right? So basically just single particle with immense space around it, basically having, you know, very close to like absolute zero. But if, you know, yeah. 
nothing will ever be able to happen again. Forever. Phew, well, that was a bummer. What else could happen? Two, increasing dark energy. Big rip. What if dark energy gets stronger? In this case, empty space won't just win over matter, it will literally rip it to pieces. In the big freeze scenario, matter lost the war but won some battles. But here, matter wins nothing. Dark energy is growing stronger over time, overcoming the pull of gravity and creating new empty space at smaller and smaller distances. In this scenario, things will escalate quickly. It could start as early as 20 billion years from now. First, dark energy will create empty space between individual galaxies. Our galaxy will leave its local cluster and begin to drift alone in a rapidly inflating and ever darker cosmos. Some billion years later, empty space starts to push between individual stars, dissolving the galaxy. Rest. If you live on a planet in a star system, the night sky will start looking sad and gloomy, as other stars are pushed too far away to be seen. A few million years after the sky turns dark, dark energy starts to create empty space inside star systems. Your planet is pushed away from its star, and all life in the universe freezes to death. There's not much time left, as a few months later, dark energy is creating empty space inside solid objects. Stars, neutron stars, planets, asteroids, everything solid is being... Yeah, I think the best way to understand is like stretching, right? I mean, uh, that's the way I can remember this. It's just like, imagine like space being an actual thing, like how like uh, your bad shit is, right? Now, dark energy is among the just stretches as much as it can. Now, the, whatever, let's just say even the atom in it will be stretched so much that it will rip. Quarks will be ripped. Everything will be ripped apart. Basically, what would happen in a black hole happens everywhere. And everything gets ripped apart because of the stretching. Being ripped into pieces. If you're on a spaceship, you only have a short time before you are ripped apart. <laughs> Half an hour later, even atoms are destroyed as new space is being created so furiously that electrons and nuclei are separated. Now the universe has just a fraction of a second left. In this final moment, only dying black holes remain, drained and defeated by dark energy. They're tiny, septillions of times smaller than an atom, and they explode with the power of a trillion supernovae in a trillionth of an octillionth of a second. Ooh. Finally, the very fabric of reality is torn to its core, obliterating space-time itself. The Big Rip. Space and time have lost their meanings making it impossible to predict what will happen next. Yeah. Whew. Three, decreasing dark energy. Ah. All our rosy scenarios, right? Again, but the, all of this relies on dark energy and pr what we know of dark energy now. I'm hoping that what we know of dark energy is nothing. And the more we know about this, hopefully, the more we realize that this was all like a f too far-fetched things. There's like more detail and nuance to it. And situation like this can't happen. Because otherwise, just like, there's openness to it. Like, just like, you know, shit like this can happen at larger scale type of openness, which is like frightening, right? Yeah. Not that, you know, <laughs> vacuum decay is any better, but still. So, yeah, this is all based on dark energy. And, you know, I think like you need like orbit of Mars. I'm pretty sure somebody said it. Like, you need the size of orbit of Mars or something. Right? Or something orbiting Mars. Something like that. That's big. You need like a particle accelerator where to produce the energy you need to basically learn more about dark energy and shit. Right? People are like, why are you not doing anything? Like, we don't have that level of particle accelerator right now to do this kind of experiment. We can do it on like paper. But practically, yeah, we have nothing. Big crunch. Poor matter. But there is one scenario where it wins. If the strength of dark energy decreases with time, and if this reduction is strong enough, the pull of gravity will win, and all the things in existence will move towards each other, unfortunately making the universe collapse into itself. No one knows when this might begin, but it could be as soon as a few hundred million years. What will it look like? As the universe begins to contract, over billions of years, galaxies and galaxy clusters approach each other until mm. they eventually collide. They get hotter and hotter. They're mostly made of empty space, so a collision is like the gentle merger of two clouds. At any rate, first galaxies and later individual stars get closer and closer. 
As the universe goes on collapsing, you might worry about stars and planets eventually crashing against each other. This will happen, but it's not your worst problem. If space itself shrinks, this also concentrates all the radiation emitted in the past by all the stars, supernovae and quasars that ever existed. Now, empty space is filled with radiation. The dark nothing between stars is heating up, making life unpleasant and then impossible as planets mm. just burn. Slowly at first, then rapidly... Basically, this is like a reverse process of Big Bang, right? Post Big Bang, this was the thing, like everything was too hot, even hot enough to basically form stars and things. This will reverse it in that way. Space gets as hot as it was after the Big Bang. Yeah. Stars yeah. are pretty hot, but now the space around them is hotter. They're literally boiled from the outside. As the universe collapses into itself, all galaxies and all stars merge into a single ball of hot plasma. The big crunch is complete. From here on, there are two possibilities. Either the universe will collapse completely into a singularity, a point of zero size and infinite density without space and time, the way it might have been before the Big Bang. Or the universe could bounce back, restarting the cosmic expansion, creating a new baby universe. Somewhat poetic, really. Everything died, but everything is reborn. Mm. But to be clear, we have zero evidence that this has happened before or will in the future. Yeah. So what will happen? Most scientists mm. think that dark energy will stay constant, so the likely fate of the universe is heat death, eternal cold, and utter boredom. Which seems sad, but has a huge upside. In this long, scenario, long time. we get to have the universe for the longest. It gives us trillions of years to expand, jump from star to star, maybe even from galaxy to galaxy. We might even find a way to keep consciousness around forever. We don't know. So we just have to wait and see, and make the most of the amazing universe we have right now. Hey you, why don't you still- Yeah, we might even dominate dark energy if it's like the unchanging thing and it has the same property with that kind of timeline we might even find a way to bolster uh, the uh, you know all the material and things just to like fight against dark energy so he death doesn't happen but yeah who the fuck knows yeah well it was the battle that is destroying the universe three dark energy related uh, deaths I guess of many uh, this was by channel Kuskaza in a nutshell uh, go to original video page link from this uh, from the support this channel by you know going to the shop dot kgs.link and yeah if you like my next channel don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time